Hi there everybody, welcome back to the channel. Just tucked the kids into bed. It's a New Year's Eve and uh, and no, we're not letting them stay up till midnight. I just thought I'd come out here and do a little video out in the garage. We're gonna talk about the snowblower again because several of you, not several, many of you have told me something that I completely missed. So we're gonna talk about that in a little bit. So the last time we were out here in the garage, I was fixing the snowblower because I had broken the chain, right? I had broken this chain right here. And uh, we fixed it, we got a new chain, we put it on. And in case you didn't see that video, here is the broken chain, right? Yeah, 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 what really hurts, what really hurt was that chain was $80 to fix, right? And yeah, I probably could have got some chain at Tractor Supply or local hardware store and made my own, but I didn't. I just paid the $80 because I had already driven to the dealership, not knowing how much it was going to be and then realizing how much it was going to be. And I was there. I was like, oh, fine. Just give me the stupid chain. So I fixed it. And that's, that's kind of how that went. Um, I'm going to use this light here. Let me see. I'm going to flip the camera viewer so I can see what's going on. Okay. So here's the chain. Now, a couple of reasons that I used as an excuse to why the chain broke. Um, one was because it had got stretched out. Okay, that's one reason. And the other reason was because this gear, this whole gear here with the teeth and the, you know, here's where the shaft is and the key and underneath there, I don't know if I can make you guys see that. I don't think we can. I don't think we're at the right angle. No, we're not. So anyway, under here where my finger is, I can feel it right there. Right behind there, there's a set screw. Anyway, you're not going to be able to see it. Trust me. There's a set screw back there and the set screw came loose. So this gear was free, was able to go back and forth. Okay. It was able to go back and forth this way. Um, and that obviously did not help that chain because it was not in alignment with the gear that's below it, okay? So I think that was probably one of the bigger reasons that it broke. So that was uh, my lack of looking after equipment. I should have gone through all the nuts and bolts, made sure they're tight, and, and I missed that set screw. Um, easy thing to miss, I suppose, but uh, I think that was the biggest contributor to why that chain broke and the other one being that the train the train <laughs> the chain had stretched over the years the numerous years i think i've been plowing snow seven years at least with this and i can't even fathom the amount of snow that has gone through this chute in the past seven years with not just my driveway but the townhomes and the neighborhood and everything else that i do uh a lot of snow so over the years the chain stretched out but as I was replacing this chain right here, you guys noticed in the video that down here, this keyhole, this, I don't know, I don't think it's a keyhole, it's a hole. It's a slotted hole. There's one down here. Let's see if I can get some better light down there. One down there, one down here, and one here, okay? there's It's slotted, right? Just like it is up here. And the reason is because this lower gear way down there this is hard to see <laughs> the the gear that's below this one is able to get tightened right you can you can kind of see where it would go into and it, but i didn't realize that this is a separate assembly this assembly here is separate from from this part here this is separate from this okay didn't really realize that at the time didn't pay much close attention. Um, and then, <laughs> thinking about it, when I first got this snowblower, I do remember tightening the chain. And I just don't know why I could not remember that. Just a, just a plain old brain fart, I guess, more than anything. And I just neglected to do that. Um, didn't think about it. So, you were right. You can tighten the chain. I was wrong about that. I, I didn't think you could. Makes sense that you could, so good thing 
Good thing you can. I'll keep a closer eye on that now. And I'll also keep a closer eye on that set screw on that gear, hoping that that stays put. Uh, a couple of you have suggested putting some Loctite in there. And uh, one person even said put a second set screw and uh, back it up. So that it kind of has a kind of locked in there. There's no place for that first one to go to. Not a bad idea. Um, so we'll have to resolve that right now. I've just got it tightened down, trusting that it's not going to move for the rest of this season. So anyway, that's that. That's that. I do not have the snowblower attached to the tractor yet. You can see it's it's not all the way back. It needs to come back a little further. And i got to get this pin in there. And I haven't done that yet. So, But we are in a winter storm watch. <laughs> Most people would be upset about that. Not me. I'm like, yes, winter storm watch. Bring it on. All right. It's awesome. So, uh, yeah, um, starting starting on new year's day no not new year's day new year's day is sunday uh so it would be the january 2nd the day after uh, it's supposed to start snowing and it's supposed to go all the way into that wednesday uh four to seven inches of snow with some ice underneath and uh i'll be ready i'll be ready for it then uh it works out kind of kind of interestingly because uh we go back to school my wife and i are both teachers we go back to school on the third and if we're in a winter storm watch, maybe we'll get an, an extra day of vacation. <laughs> that could work out pretty good. So one more thing. We've been starting to do a, uh, a decal giveaway. These are the decals that we're giving away. Our keep on tractoring motto right there. And these are in an automotive type of decal. This is a chrome finish. Uh, looks kind of neat there on the, on the hood of the Kubota BX. So we've been giving those away. Haven't given any away yet but here's how it works uh in my last two videos i actually talked about that and i said that if you leave a comment in that particular video i'll use a random comment picker and we will get you a decal okay so that's what we're going to do and the way that you're going to be able to to well if if i announce you as a winner okay if i announce you as a winner which we're going to do here in a little bit i'm going to actually do a couple uh, random comments for the past two videos. Okay, so this will be for the past two. So for the uh, for the heat press video, and then for the snow blower chain fixing video. So we're going to do two today, uh, just in a little bit. And the way that you're going to be able to contact me if your name is drawn, all right. If your name is drawn, you're going to need to go check out our Facebook page. Okay, it's called the Ritter Bit Will Do on Facebook, and there you can message me. You can send me a message through Facebook. That way you can send me your address. I'll send you the new decal. That's how it will work, okay? So that's the way we're gonna do it. Now, so that's for the past two videos, the heat press video, replace the chain video. This video, this video, um, you can also comment. <laughs> and in a future video from this one, we'll do a random comment picker thing and maybe it'll be you that wins and you can uh, keep on tractoring then, right? So. <laughs> Let's go inside, use a random comment picker on the old on the old computer internet machine, and uh, we'll figure out who the winners are going to be. So stay tuned. All right, guys, we're in the house now, and we're going to copy the link down here from this video. The expensive mistake, right? This mistake was expensive from that video. Um, and then we're going to go to our random comment picker. We're going to get that pasted there and we're going to filter out duplicate users uh include replies no we're not going to include exclude block none extra remove winner from the list after the draw uh not going to be necessary got to do a little math so no they're not a robot nine plus six i think it's still 15. get youtube comments so it's about as you can see there's 93 comments on that so that's pretty good and we're going to hit uh, hit start on this, and it's going to find us a winner here. And our winner is going to be Dennis Moanchak. Moanchak, I think. That's how you pronounce that. So, Dennis, um, what you're going to do, Dennis, you are going to you're going to message me on Facebook Messenger. Um, yeah, let's see. His comment was. Sorry for the dilemma, John. Let's hope this is the last of the misfortunes for your winter. <laughs> your part of the country is hard on equipment. Yeah, that we are. 
So Dennis, what I need you to do, you're gonna go to the Facebook page. Our Facebook page is called A Ritter Bit Will Do, right down here. And you're gonna be able to go over here somewhere on the page and send me a message. And uh, send me, let me know that you won. Let me know your address. And we will get you one of these as soon as we can. So you do that and that would be great. All right, now let's draw for the next one. Okay, here we are from the video called New Tool for the Channel. All right, so we are gonna copy the link there. We're gonna go to the random comment picker, scroll back up here, and we're gonna put in that new link. Filter duplicate users, do a little math again, prove I'm not a robot, get the comments, and we have 38 comments from that. That wasn't as highly of a viewed video, so that makes sense. We're gonna hit start, and who are we gonna get this time? Mike Hillman, Mike Hillman. Uh, he says, just great teamwork, much success coming your way. So thanks for the great comment there, Mike. And again, Mike, what you're going to do, you're going to go check us out on our Facebook page, A Ritter Bit Will Do, and there you can send me a message. So uh, that's how you do it. And then, uh, and then, yeah, Mike, we'll get you one of these too. So thanks for the comments, you guys. Thanks for subscribing. And, and happy new year, everybody. I hope 2023 is a good year for you, and uh, keep on tractoring, and God bless. Thank you.